Hi, I'm John Villalobos, Senior Applications Engineer here at RKI Instruments, and welcome to our channel. Today, I'd like to show you how to calibrate our GX6000 portable gas monitor. This particular instrument is set up for methane, oxygen, H2S, and CO. To calibrate this instrument, we have a four gas mix cylinder that consists of 2.5% by volume, methane, 12% oxygen, 25 ppm hydrogen sulfide, 50 ppm carbon monoxide, all in a balance of nitrogen. The regulator that we're going to be using is a demand flow regulator, and this particular regulator actually uses the vacuum action of the pump to draw the gas directly from the cylinder and into the unit. Finally, we have a small piece of calibration tubing. This consists of polyurethane, and it is approximately 3 16 inch times 5 16 inch. To calibrate the unit, we want to basically, from the normal operation screen, press and hold down the shift button and then press the display button, and that brings up the calibration mode. The cursor is currently at air cal, and the first thing we want to do is actually air adjust the instrument to a normal, clean, fresh air background. So I'm going to press the power enter button with the cursor in front of air cal. And uh, right now at, at the top bar, black bar, it says air. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the air button at this point and hold it down. It says hold air key, adjusting zero, release air key, zero adjusted. So I'll go ahead and release the key, end. And we're back at the normal operation screen and everything was zeroed out and we're back into our cal mode. Now I'm going to use the down arrow shift button to move the cursor to auto cal. We're gonna perform an auto calibration and then I'm gonna press the uh, power button or enter button and it brings up uh, concentration, gas, select, and escape. Right now the cursor is in front of concentration, and this is what I want to check next. I want to press power enter at concentration, and right now it gives us values that actually corresponds with the values that is on the label of the gas cylinder. So right now we do have 50% LEL methane, 12% oxygen, 25 ppm H2S, and 50 ppm CO. Well, let's say I had, uh, let's say 25% LEL uh, methane instead of 50. With a cursor right now in front of CH4 methane, I would press the power enter button. And right now the value is flashing and then I could lower it uh, as I wanted to. I could go down to 25 if I needed to, or uh, I'll go back up to 50 because that's what I actually have in my gas cylinder right now. So I'll just take it back up to 50 and then press enter to lock it in. You could do that for each uh, of the gases if you needed to change the values of any particular gas. So everything is in agreement here with our gas cylinder. I'm going to now press the down arrow key to lower the cursor to escape and press power enter. That brings us back to our auto cal menu. And then this time I'm going to uh, take the cursor to gas select and then press power enter. And right now it is confirming the values that uh, the unit expects to see. And again, these values correspond with what's on the label on the gas cylinder. At this point, I'm going to press the power enter button. And right now it says apply gas and the values are flashing. So and, uh, I'll set the unit down for a moment and remove my rubber band here from the cal tubing. Get my cylinder here. Okay, and we have plenty of pressure. We can see on the pressure gauge there. And then I'm gonna take one end of this tubing and put it on the hose barb of the regulator. And we'll just lay that down. And then the other end onto the fitting. And now we're just going to let the readings uh, increase on all of the gases. The oxygen will be decreasing down from 20.9.
And uh, these sensors respond pretty quickly. So we're already almost at 50% LEL and methane. We're at 49, we're at 23 ppm of H2S, 45 ppm of CO, 12.3% of oxygen. So we can see that uh, the readings are pretty stable. I'll just give it a few more moments here. The important thing is to let the readings stabilize before you make your adjustment. I'm going to press the power enter button, end, and we're back to the auto screen. So that was a successful calibration. Uh, had there been a failure of a sensor, the instrument would have instantly given us a fail condition and indicated what sensor failed. So right now I'm just going to lower the cursor back to escape from gas select, which we just finished, and then press power enter. And then at this point, I can further take the unit down to normal mode, press the power enter button, and we're back to normal operation. That uh, basically is how you calibrate the GX6000 in auto calibration mode. Thank you for watching our channel.